What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's detail, we're gonna be working on a really cool old farm truck, which is a 1973 GMC Stepside. As you guys can see, it's in desperate need of a detail. Years and years of moss and algae built up on the paint with a really, really dirty interior that's full of mold and debris and some really oxidized and dirty paintwork. Um, now this truck actually sat since 2004, was not moved for years, um, just sat in one spot. However, we got it to run, um, got it to start up and then brought it over to the shop for a detail. So it does have some rust. We're gonna see what we can salvage on it and how much of the paint's actually gonna polish out. And as you guys will see, you wanna stick around for the whole video because this thing turned out amazing a night and day difference so be sure to stick around for a whole video but just before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and get your notification bell turned on because you guys have been missing out on a lot of the videos so without further ado let's get right into it So a little bit of an unusual way to start the wash process, but here I'm going to be vacuuming some of the pine needles from the cowling area and under the hood. I'm um, just kind of get a start on things. I didn't want to make a complete mess in the wash bay. So instead of just soaking this down with plain water, I want to go ahead and let the degreaser kind of do the work for me. So I'm going to be using some super clean diluted about three to one in a chemical sprayer. I'm just going to let it soak and dwell on the paint for a little bit to break it down as best as I can before power washing it. and. As you guys can see here in some of the later clips, even with the super clean, it was still really tough to get this moss off. It was almost like literally attached to the paint. In some areas, it did take the paint with it, but there was really nothing I could do at that point.
So here I'm taking some super clean degreaser, non-diluted, um, and as well as some acid base wheel cleaner. And just soak it all down and then brush it all. Um, I couldn't really get it too clean. The wheels are really rusty. I tried to get them clean. I even took a piece of steel wool and kind of didn't do really any justice. Um, so these wheels either need to be redone or replaced. So to remove all the rust stains and iron contaminants on all the paint, I'm going to be using my acid and give this thing an acid wash. Here I'm just going to soak down the body panel by panel and use a soft bristle brush, not a stiff bristle, but soft bristle brush. Now this will scratch. Um, obviously scratches aren't a big concern on this old paint. Um, this truck is in horrible condition and it has tons of rust stains everywhere. So the only way to get those off without wet sanding um, is with acid. And uh, acid is a very good way to remove heavy water spots iron contaminants and other things so as you guys will see and all the chrome surfaces will be brightened up after acid washing so it is safe when done properly you just got to be very quick with it and you got to do panel by panel here i'm using it diluted about three to one and um, the acid i use isn't that strong so it's really safe on paint however you don't want to be doing this to new cars um uh, but in some places it's actually required like if you go to hawaii or arizona or even texas I see a lot of guys acid washing from all the red dirt they get over there. But you can see here I'm acid washing all the chrome and the grill and bumper and it makes it look almost like brand new again. So when done right, it's very effective and does an amazing job. So just take a quick look here of how much debris and dirt came off this paint. Like you'll see in the thumbnail, this truck was actually sitting for several years and was used as a farm truck and was sitting since 2004, so that wasn't an exaggerated number. This truck was sitting for years without being washed. I mean, it was basically growing grass on the side of the paint, so um, as you guys can see, it left a big mess behind. So to restore some shine back to this old paint, I'm going to be using some clear cut correction compound by Chemical Guys. And this stuff is really, really good for oxidized paint. I really like it a whole lot. Um, it does do a great job of getting all the heavy oxidization off and get it ready for a polish. And you can leave it with a pretty good finish behind, but I always finish off with a second step. So here's going to be a two step uh, polish. I'm going to be using some clear cut correction compound with a microfiber cutting disc. Then I'm going to switch over to a polish pad and some 
Maguire Shokar Glaze. So moving on to cleaning the interior and here you can see I had trouble getting the seat out so I went ahead and decided not to take it out since the floorboards were way too rusty and the seat bolts did not want to budge I didn't want to risk breaking them in the floorboard. So here I just took some compressed air and blew back and forth underneath the seat to get any loose debris and then get it all vacuumed away. Obviously it would have been better if I took the seat out but I couldn't get it out without them breaking so I just decided not to.
So as for top coat on the interior, I wanted to use 303 Aerospace or Meguiar's Hyperdressing, but I did a couple test spots and wasn't coming out how I would like it to. So since this interior was so dry, I decided to go with some stoner trim shine. Now as you guys can see, it goes on pretty shiny, but once it's wiped away, it leaves it with a nice satin finish. So I want to let the product soak on the panels since it was so dry inside and while that's soaking I'm going to go ahead and take the seat cover and install this real quick and I can say for a $30 seat cover it did a really good job on brightening up the whole interior and looks a lot better. So then here I'm just going to take two microfiber towels, one to wipe all the heavy saturation and then the second one to make sure it's dry to touch. So to finish off the paint, I'm going to be using some HydraSpeed Ceramic Quick Detailer by Chemical Guys and a few microfiber towels to make sure there's no extra streaks or any handprints or anything like that on the paint before wiping all the glass and finishing it up. So in the next clips, you guys will see the final before and after results.
So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos like this. I promise I have a couple of cool videos on the way. We got a GMC Cyclone on the way and an old school Corvette uh, that you guys will really enjoy. And I know you guys have been seeing the Fastback in the background. So that one's coming as well um, in some time. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the next one.